Hello. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can test permissions and server groups and channel groups out on your server from one computer with one copy of TeamSpeak open. I've had multiple requests for how did you do that? Can you tell me? Because I can't I can't get everything tested on one computer. I have to get the phone out and get in here. So instead of like individually responding to everyone, I'm just going to make a video. That way it benefits everyone. So if you click on connections, connect, type in your IP and hit connect. Now you're in the server and I'm the server admin. And if I go to settings and click identities, I only have one identity in here. So since I'm the server admin, I'm going to call this one server admin. So there's no mistake. Then I'm going to hit add. I'm going to make another one called admin. And I'm going to hit add and make another one called channel admin. Okay, so now I've got three identities. But how do you use them? Well, there's a couple of ways. You can either use the connections screen that we just saw by going into it. And if you haven't already, press this more button so you see all the rest of the options here. And then you can choose the identity that you want to use and hit in new tab. And you'll see that it comes up in a new tab. And we know that this is working because TeamSpeak user is the server admin right there and admin who just came in doesn't have anything yet so now if I swap over to this tab I can right click on admin and give him a server group that I made called admin so now when I switch over to this tab I'm admin with a Q icon there when I switch over to this tab I'm TeamSpeak user but I have the server admin group right there so that's how you can do that. If I go to connections, hit connect, come down here, choose channel admin from the identity, hit in new tab. Now I've got channel admin. So if I want to give him something, then I come back to my first one, which is server admin. Then I'm able to right click on channel admin guy there and give him a channel group of channel admin. So now he has a group to match what his name is. So now I could do some testing from server admin tab I can go into the permissions and I can start altering things and then when I want to test it I just click on this tab so now I am a channel admin and now I can see what permissions I'm able to change can I change other channels permissions can I do things I'm not supposed to do and then when I find things that are just really wrong then I come back into this tab and then change the permissions again fix things up tweak things and then come back in here do testing same thing with the admin if i don't want the admin to have too much power then i come in here see what i can do as admin and if there's something you definitely don't want them to be able to do that then you come here and then go into the permissions and prevent them from doing that so that's how to do it with the connections menu but you can also do this with bookmarks which is what i personally use so here we have here let's uh Let's just connect first as server admin, just so it's less confusing. All right. So now I'm in here as server admin. So to make it easy, I'm going to make a bookmark. Bookmarks, add bookmark. And if you haven't already, click the more button so you see the entire set of options. And just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to call this server admin my server and make sure that the identity is server admin and hit OK. So now when I go up to bookmarks I can left click on server admin and it will automatically pop me up in here. Now I can repeat this process bookmarks add to bookmarks and change the name on this new one to admin my server and then change the identity to admin and hit OK and now if I left click on the admin one, I re come into the server as only an admin. 
So the, what the trick is, is to come in here as all of the things that you want to test, as I showed you from using the connection method. So if I left click on server admin, because I usually keep the most powerful one being the first one that's connected so that I can clearly know where to go when I need to make changes. And then when I want to open up the next one, I click bookmarks and I middle mouse button click or the scroller on your mouse. You press that on the one that you want to open up and it will open it up in a new tab. So now I could do the same thing again, add to bookmarks and call this one channel admin, my server, change the identity to channel admin, hit OK. And now when I want to do testing as channel admin, I can middle mouse button on that and boom, now I've got that one open. So now I can flip between whichever one I want. And whereas I've called them specifically what these individual uh, groups or identities are supposed to be testing, you could make generic ones. You could make uh, server admin, uh, you could make the next one uh, test guy one and then test guy two and just can make them connect and you've got like test guy one, test guy two, test guy three and just assign to them the, the types of groups and client permissions and things that you want them to have and just do testing. So it's a really extremely important thing to be able to test your permissions because if you just set them up and hope that you and assume that you did them correct I can assure you there will be something somewhere that will let people do things that you don't want them to do which is where testing is really useful because you can attempt to do things you can like try to get around something or see if you can tweak things you're not supposed to tweak and then just come back to your tab and fix them up um, so hopefully that answers the, the questions I've been receiving. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you.